Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at bad debt recovered. Now, we've looked at a couple of lessons on bad debt and how to account for it, how to do it in a journal entry, as well as how it looks like in the financial statements. Now, bad debt, we're talking about credit losses here or doubtful accounts. So what is bad debt firstly? Well, bad debt or credit loss is an expense that is incurred when it is apparent that a debtor, someone who owes the entity money, cannot pay the debt. So when you're told that someone is not able to pay off the debt anymore, then you will write them off as bad debt or credit loss, which is an expense account. Very important to note that it's an expense account, bad debt that is. But what is bad debt recovered? Well, bad debt recovered is an income that is earned when a debt that was previously written off, that means making it a bad debt, is suddenly paid by the debtor. So if you had previously written off a debt as a bad debt or as a credit loss, making it an expense, and suddenly a year later or whenever that is, a month later, it doesn't matter when that is, if you had written it off as a bad debt before, and that debtor comes back and says, I'm paying you the money or we receive the money from that debtor, that makes it a bad debt recovered. And you can see here, I've highlighted in black, it's an income account. So you must be able to make a distinction between the two. A bad debt or a credit loss is an expense account and a bad debt recovered is an income account. And it's very important to know that a bad debt recovered is one that was previously written off as a bad debt. And now that the debtor has paid you, that is when you recognize it as a bad debt recovered as an income. Now, how do you do a journal entry when you have a bad debt recovered? Well, here's a scenario. A debtor who was previously written off as irrecoverable has paid an amount of 500 rand. And we are asked to journalize the entry. So here, a debtor was previously written off as irrecoverable because we thought this guy is not going to pay us anymore. And we, read, we wrote it off as a bad debt, making it an expense. Now he has paid us an amount of 500 rand. So what is going to be our journal entry? Well, I hope you know your journal entries, your debits and your credits and how they work. If you don't, you'll find a link to a lesson in the description below, which explains how journals work. So here, the first thing that we know is that when you have a bad debt recovered, someone has just paid money. What do we have? What are the two accounts? The first one is bank because money is coming into our bank and that is an asset account. And the second one is bad debt recovered. So you'll usually have that scenario. Someone who was previously written off as recoverable has suddenly paid you. You know that one of your accounts is bad debt recovered and obviously the other one is bank because money is coming into your bank. So we're going to debit bank and we're going to credit bad debt recovered with the 500 rand. And that's as easy as it is to journalize bad debt recovered. Why are we debiting bank? Because bank is an asset and it's increasing and assets increase on the debit side. Remember, it's increasing because money is coming into our account. The debtor who was previously written off is suddenly paid the money. And bad debt recovered is an income account and income increases on the credit side. Now, if you'd like a tip to remember where your incomes, your assets, your expenses, your liabilities and so forth increase and decrease which side, then you'll find a link to a lesson where we give you the tip on how to always remember it. Now, we have just recovered this bad debt. What if you are asked to do the statement of comprehensive income and you are supposed to take it into account there? Where would you put it? Well, here is where it would go. You have the statement of comprehensive income for the year ended. Obviously, you have the period when it's ending. And then you have sales, cost of sales, and then you have gross profit, and then you have other operating income. And that is where you can see bad debt recovered. It's an income account. That is where we would put the 500 rand over here. Okay, that is where it goes in the statement of comprehensive income. Remember, it doesn't go into the statement of financial position because it's an income account and we record all our income in the statement of comprehensive income. And that is how you journalize bad debt recovered and how you account for it in the statement of comprehensive income income now we've done lessons on the statement of comprehensive income as well as other lessons pertaining to bad debts and you'll find all of them in the links in the description below i hope you have gained value from this lesson and if you have please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers